Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Bourbon Battles. My name's Joe. Hey, we've got a good one for you today, guys. You know what this is, right? If you've been hunting whiskey very long, you've been into the game very long, you don't even have to really be into it to know what this is. This iconic bottle is Blanton's. Blanton's was one of the first, it was the first, single barrel bourbon. They came up with the idea, let's bottle this up one barrel at a time to give it unique characteristics. The problem with this stuff is, it's supposed to be 60 some dollars and I see it for double that and then some all the time on secondary markets. It's a cool bottle, it's a cool presentation and it's a lot of fun to have on your collection. But when you can't find this, what can you get in its place? So today we're gonna to talk about alternatives to Blanton's. Stick with us. All right, the first thing I want to talk about is what we're going to show you today, alternatives to the Blanton's, is not what we think is better than Blanton's. Although most of these or some of these, I do believe are better than Blanton's. We want to show you single barrels that are fairly easy to get, that aren't going to break the bank, that are just as good and a good alternative for this stuff you can't find. Let me stress, if you don't have a bottle of this, I highly recommend you get one, even if it means spending a little bit extra, because it's so much fun to have around and let your friends share. Everybody wants to try the Blanton's. Saw it just the other day for $28 a pour. $28 a pour at a bar. So don't go that route. So let's start getting into these one at a time. So the first thing I want to talk about is store picks. If you watch us very much, well, you know we love store picks. Red Barrel Liquors in Mooresville, Indiana. Bay Ridge out in Connecticut. We love store picks. Store picks are single barrels where that establishment has gone to the distillery or received samples, and they've said, this is our favorite barrel that we've gotten to taste today. So what a single barrel does is allow different char characteristics to shine through, whether it had been stored on a different floor or whatever that difference in, in it may be. And I encourage you to... Like, say, I like to do this, right? When I get a Buffalo Trace store pick, to compare them to other Buffalo Trace store picks, you can definitely pick out the nuances in those things. So, I got to have something to drink while we film this, so let's just get right into this Knob Creek store pick. I really love this one from our friends at Bay Ridge out in uh, Annapolis, Maryland. Yeah, if you're in that Annapolis, Maryland area, make sure you check that out. Their Knob Creek is fantastic. Or if you're in Indiana, right, head on over to... Uh, Red Barrel in Mooresville, I think he still has a Knob Creek store pick, and it's one of my favorite ones I've ever had. So thank you to both of those guys for working with us and being able to provide material for great content. content. We really appreciate that. Yeah, it's so good. So let's get right into these. We're going to go through them fairly quickly, right? Now, I don't think anything in here is going to be a surprise to you if you've been in the whiskey world for very long. First one we want to talk is Jim Beam. Jim Beam single barrel, obviously coming out of the Jim Beam Distillery in Claremont, Kentucky, comes to us at 108 proof. The Blanton's is 93 proof, if I didn't mention that before, so a little bit higher. This is a single barrel, and yes, it is the same mash bill, which means it's made from the same recipe as the Jim Beam white label that you drank in college. However, it's a single barrel at higher proof, and it's aged a little bit longer, so it allows a lot of those flavors to really come through. I love this product, and for like the $35 price range, it's really hard to pass up when I see it. Every once in a while, it gets hard to find, so I like to keep that around. That is a solid sipper. It's good for cocktails, and it holds up so very well in a blind. It's beat Blanton's in a blind for me more than once. So let's stay in the Jim Beam family. Baker 7, seven-year-old Baker's uh, coming to you at 107 proof. Same recipe. Uh, stored a little bit different, aged a little bit different. This stuff is solid. I had, I tasted it today. I haven't tried this stuff in a very long time, and I was pleasantly surprised. And their 13-year-old just came out. I have not had a chance to try that yet. I don't even know what it costs, but I'm guessing it's very expensive. If you've got a Baker's 13 and you want to donate a little bit of that to for science research at Bourbon Battles, let me know. We'd love to have, have that. So Jim Beam and Jack Daniels are really the two biggest names in the whiskey world. So let's talk about Jack Daniels Single Barrel. This stuff comes in at 94 proof. It is the old number seven recipe. It's just a single barrel, right? I don't know the age difference, but I assume this has got to be aged a little bit longer. This is cheaper than Blanton's. And although I probably prefer the Blanton's on this one, 
But when you pop that up to 125 to 132 proof and they're single barrel barrel proof, it's one of my favorite whiskeys in the world. Love that stuff in single barrel. And I've got one of those that is out of this world and stands apart from all the other ones. That's why we drink single barrels. So let's move right on over to Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill has Evan Williams single barrel. This is a lower proof. It's 86.6 proof. A little bit lower than the Blands, about five proof points. Is that right? Yeah, six. Six point uh, four proof points uh, lower. But this is great stuff. This is getting extremely difficult to find. You may not have it in your area. There are still some left around Indiana, but my understanding is that's a Kentucky and a distillery only exclusive now. If you do see that for the price point that it comes in, grab it, grab it, grab it. Okay, the next one on the list comes to us from Old Forester. Old Forester birthday bourbon. It's a once a year release on the uh, George Garvin bourbon, George Garvin uh, birthday. This is good stuff. Um, about the same proof as the Blanton's. Comes in a cool bottle. That's why it made the list. Uh, yeah, if you see these around, these are fairly readily avail available in Indiana, at least. Grab you an Old Forester birthday bourbon. Next one we want to talk about is local distilleries, guys. Everybody has local distilleries in your area. And for us, one of the best ones in Indiana is Old 55. This Old 55 single barrel is fantastic. They do some neat things down there at Old 55 in Newton, Indiana. If you're in the Indiana area, even as far north as Chicago, come down there. Like last weekend, they had a big barbecue fest. If you can time it with something like that, go down there and see Jason, the master distiller and owner. Check out that facility. And if you get a chance to try their 100% sweet corn mash bill whiskey, it's really good. Um, they also have phenomenal store picks that float around in Indiana, at least. I don't know where they're at in distribution. So if you're not in Indiana and you can't get Old 55, there's something in your area, right? If you're in Maryland, right, there's always something around, right? Local distilleries, don't, don't sleep on those, right? They make great single barrel products. Coming to us next is one of the most famous distilleries in the world, Four Roses. Four Roses single barrels, 100 proof, and I went a long time without liking that. My palate changed. My palate developed, and I love this now. I do like it better than the Blanton's. Your palate will change and evolve over time. That's something to keep in mind. So when you try something you don't like it, come back to it later. Try it again. You might change your mind, right? That's one of the reasons we don't talk about tasting notes, right? With this Baker 7, right, I would get peanuts and that, that profile, that Jim Beam profile that they're known for. Chad, on the other hand, has never gotten peanuts in a Jim Beam product. Art, he's not right and I'm wrong, and I'm not right and he's wrong. Everybody's just a little bit different. And one of the things I'm starting to learn, I, I, I had the opportunity, I just finished the uh, Staven Thief Society Executive Bourbon Course, and it comes with a sensory kit. And here's their email, or I'm sorry, their website right down here. If you want to check them out, they've got different levels. Highly, highly recommend these guys. I thought I knew a lot about bourbon and I took this course and it, it took a long time to take, right? I actually applied myself and went through it through the book, through the sensory kit to start picking out these nuances. Very well worth your time, right? There's different, different levels, like I said, so you can decide how much you want to invest in expanding your bourbon knowledge. Check it out. It's a really, really cool organization. We're going to do a full episode on that here real soon. So moving right along, uh, Newer distillery, I wouldn't call them a craft distillery anymore, New Riff Single Barrel. You know, we talked about store picks earlier. New Riff is doing some amazing, amazing things down there. This particular one is 102.8 proof single barrel. And there's a lot of variance in their different barrels I've found. Uh, modern facility, just on the other side of the river from Cincinnati over there in Kentucky. Really well worth your time. Check that out. Heaven Hill, coming back to you here. Yeah, I think we did a Heaven Hill. Yeah, the... Evan Williams of Seven Hill. Henry McKenna, single barrel, 10 years old, bottle and bond, which means it's four years old or more. This one is more, and it comes to you at 100 proof. This gained national attention and accolades and kind of became an allocated product when it won a huge spirits award. So this is getting easier and easier to find. I see it several times a year. It's about the same price as Blanton's. Pick this up as an awesome alternative. It is an allocated product. You will have to hunt a little bit for that, but that's what makes it fun. So let's go to a newer distillery for me, right? We're just seeing this in Kentucky, Boone County, small batch single. Um, it says small batch bourbon single barrel. I don't know if I understand that exactly, but this is a single barrel, this, this particular one. It's 111.2 proof at seven years old. This is fan freaking 
fantastic. If you've never had the uh, Boone County single barrel, I'm a huge fan and I certainly prefer it to the Blanton's. So maybe I just got a hold of a stellar bottle, but that is one of my favorite bottles on the table. So let's go to move it right over here to Wild Turkey, right? You've been around very long. You know what Russell's Reserve is. This comes to us at 110 proof. Russell's Reserve single barrel. You know, they've got uh, batch products. They've got, they're known for their store picks. They've got Russell's 13. Uh, this stuff right here in the single barrel, you get a hold of a good one of these, especially a store pick, and you're going to have a really special product that you can share with anybody and you're going to knock their socks off with it. Great stuff coming out of Wild Turkey. Let's stick with Wild Turkey for our last selection. None of these are in order. These just come as they go. If you've been around whiskey very long, you know Wild Turkey 101 is something you got to have. It's what you drank in college. It's cheap. You want to take that just to the next step a little bit? Check out the Wild Turkey uh, Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel. This is Wild Turkey 101 out of a single barrel. So this is fantastic stuff coming to you cheaper than the Blanton's, and I like it more. So that's what we wanted to show you today, guys. You don't have to chase the horsies. It's good. You should own a bottle. But everything on this table is respectful. It'll be good to present to any, you. Give me any of this stuff when I come over to your house, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be very happy with the selection. So just keep in mind, though, drink bourbon with your friends. Share it. Do blinds. Do blind flights. It's so much fun to take this stuff and get somebody to pick this stuff over it. And I see it all the time. I just did one with a guy. I gave him two little sample bottles. I said, shoot me a call, shoot me a text. Let me know what you like better. I told him nothing about what was going on. I do. I did know that he'd been wanting to find a bottle of Blanton's and couldn't find one. He said number two's better. And he said it was a lot better, better than the Blanton's. Hey guys, drink bourbon with your friends. Drink responsibly, but whatever you do, don't drink and drive. Oh, if you drink, don't drive to the watermelon crawl.